Hey guys, it's Emmy Love. This video is my, I don't know if it's, it's not my very first, but it's a product review. And I did product reviews on my channel like probably once or twice. Once or twice. This time I'm gonna do it monthly, consistently throughout this year. This way I tell you guys my favorite products and my not so favorite products. And obviously by the title you can see I wanted to try to put my little bohemian twist on it. So every monthly um, favorites video I'm gonna do is gonna be named Dread and Dead. What's Dread and what was Dead. If you're not bohemian, um, Dread means good. Like, well Dread mean, can mean anything actually, but in this case it's, it means good. If I really like a product or if I really like something, I'll say, oh that was Dread. Like that was good, you see? And if I don't like a product, that was dead. Cause it just wasn't popping, right? <laughs> but we're calling this what was dread and what was dead. For this month, I don't really have much things that were dread or dead. <laughs> it's just typical everyday things that I use that you guys probably seen me use in like my makeup videos and stuff. I don't just want to do beauty, like hair and makeup stuff. I want to do like clothes and shoes and stuff like that. But I think I'll start that in February. Okay, so I decided to do all the things that was dead first because you know you got to save best for last and that's the things that was dread. So first off, the thing, this thing that was dead, this dead thing, is this um, Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker lip plumping gloss i got this in my beautycon goodie bag i never told you guys i went to beautycon you know if you guys have me on snapchat which you should follow by the way um you would have seen that during my birthday weekend which was like in december like early december i went to beautycon and i met jordan woods jay pierce saw jay manuel um justine sky yeah um it was a wonderful experience but that's besides the point. I hate this. I, like, this is so dead. Obviously, like, with these plumping glosses, they work the same where they just tingle your lips because they're putting in collagen or something with collagen and something to plump. Honestly, I put this on and I just was like, I take it right off because this was nasty to me. Mm. Another product that was dead. <laughs> these MAC eyelashes. I've never purchased MAC eyelashes and this was the first time I did. I saw them and I was like, ooh, they would look nice. But either at the time I didn't know how to glue on eyelashes or something. But I just didn't like, they just look like feathers on my eyes. I hate these so much. I don't even know what they name. The name A16. That name there, A16. I don't know if that's the name. But in case you wanna see, I, I hate these, bro. These, dead, dead. Mm. Another product, or oh, several products, I should say that was dead. These, um, my makeup brush set brushes. I did a review on these, right? Not a review, but I I did a haul with these a couple months ago. And I, I was excited to have them. And the ones that work nice were the face brushes. Everybody keeps saying this. Like, the face brushes always work nice. But these small little brushes, honestly, what they, what, what are I using them for? But I just think these small brushes are relevant because I have regular brushes to do the things for me, you know what I mean? And not only that, I think I wanted to wash them. I washed them whenever, I haven't even washed them yet. But when I received the thing, this fall out the thing, like the brush bit fell out. I had to glue it on back with my own nail glue. Like that, that really make me mad, man. These foolishness, <laughs> dead. Now, last, the last uh, dead thing is this foolishness. This ORS, olive oil edge control, right? So, my thing is, this thing says keeps wavy, curly, kinky edges smooth. That's a lie. This can't even keep my perm edges smooth. Okay, I lie. It good, right? But I hate, like, I hate how it is cake up. It is cake up so much, and then your hair starts feeling tacky. Like, it's just nasty. I have to get this because my Hicks edges ran out at the time. It smells nice. I give them that. And I, and I know it's healthy for your hair. But it just is cake up, and it don't, it, 
it, the job it don't last like it don't last and don't lie and say it can last if, if you know it ain't gonna last i'd recommend this if you ain't trying to pay 14 dollars for hicks edges so get this i think this is one of the best ones out there when it comes to cheap edge control i hope that was said correctly but other than that mm. dead. so now guys the things that was dread this month listen to me and they weren't just dread for just this month they were dread from the time i purchased them they was loyal to me from the jump the first thing is this tea tree skin clearing foam cleanser from the body shop this feels so refreshing going on your face but it doesn't you know how soap is like when you activate it with, with water it gets like sudsy and stuff like that this doesn't feel like that it literally feels like foam and you just rub it on your face and then you wash it off and it's really refreshing and obviously tea tree oil um or tea tree itself is really good for your skin i would get this if you're going to body shop for tea tree i would get this foam cleanser this was dread another thing that was dread for me um not just for this month but since i purchased it boy is this mark jacobs primer i is use this like every day like especially me living in england where the weather is so, is so i mean the air is so dry like it's always cold and this and that y'all know how english weather is and honestly this is the best primer ever like this is a primer and a moisturizer in one this is the holy grail y'all like honestly and truly save up and buy this and the packaging is amazing another thing that i've been using for like about a month or so is this eyelid brow amplifier i don't know exactly what it means but i just know that when i put it on it makes like you know when you want to get that you know the instagram brows like when you want to do like that little fade i just put more down here i talking so bohemian right now like when i put this on my eyebrows right it makes it darker for me so i get more of like a faded look also it lays down my hairs also it just makes my brows look amazing like i i don't even know what it is but it makes my brows look so nice i don't have it on now but this oh my when i do use this i'm just like bro like bro but this this has been bomb so far okay y'all so i had this thing for like two weeks right and this is the best like anastasia who who this is the benefit cabral pomade i don't know what you just call it cabral what is it it's a pomade to me man but um it comes in this little nice packaging because boy shout out to benefit because their packaging always lit always 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 i have these this on my brows right now and oh my i am in love like i'm in love and it's just so convenient because they give you a little brush right and it's just so extra like it's oh the packaging is so cute this is the perfect shade for my brows and it just bro i mean it, my face may not look good right now but bro listen honestly y'all need to buy if y'all don't have a cabral by benefit purchase it you will not regret it i promise you uh, if you don't know how to use it don't buy it because some y'all really use the pen whoever used the pencil get your pencil i don't know how the benefit pencil uh works but I think they're nice as well. But I don't know because I've never used it. I can only speak from what I know, right? But if you know how to use pomades and stuff on your eyebrows, this is the one. This is so dread. Next, I'm glad I have that was dread. Are these Lash Planet Mink Luxurious 3D Mink First Strip Lashes? This was the best purchase that I ever made. Ever, ever, ever. I would add wear these lashes all day, every day. Well, not. I would if I really put in the effort, but I can't be asked. Well, every time I have to wear lashes or really want to wear lashes or have the time to put on lashes, I'll purchase this. I mean, purchase. I'll wear this. I feel like this one is Venus, but I don't remember. I think this is a UK brand. So if you you in the UK, they cost $8.99. Never mind. People like their £1.99 or £1 lashes from the hair shop. If you really want to go all out, these $8.99, £8.99 on Lash Planet. These bomb though. Oh, sorry. These is dread. 
so lastly um for my what was dread this month y'all do not sleep on river island fragrances do not sleep they are amazing so i purchased this one oh my goodness like bro bro this smell like some expensive chanel um givenchy Lo Yves saint laurent that's what this sound that's what this smell like boy but don't sleep on these so if y'all ever go to river island go check out their fragrances because it's really really amazing down there but yeah guys that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys enjoyed my little bahamian take a shout out to everybody who recommended that i use dread whether it be good or bad and shout out to everybody who actually helped me find some words so for all y'all who didn't answer me but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed what was dread and what was dead if you guys do want me to write the products down below or anywhere in this video comment down below and let me know make sure you guys follow me on twitter snapchat and instagram and make sure you turn on my notifications so that you can get alerts every time i upload a video have a wonderful day or night and i'll see you guys in my next video bye